All right, guys, tactical prepper here. Um, this review is going to be about these grill lights. As you can see, I've got the hood popped. Um, I will be opening the hood, and we're going to be talking about them. Uh, these lights, before I begin, I used to have a 2016 Forerunner TRD Pro. Uh, it was in quicksand, and I noticed that uh, a couple of other ones that I saw had the Ford Raptor lights in them, and they looked really good. I didn't know where everybody got them. I was looking around on Amazon on uh, YouTube, eBay, different locations to just try to see what videos are out there uh, and who made these lights and I just couldn't find anything that I thought looked really good and looked really stock. What I did find were a bunch of cheap ones on Amazon. Uh, I found a bunch of cheap ones on eBay. <clears throat> uh, they were missing harnesses. You had to wire them yourself and I was just getting really frustrated. And finally, I came upon a company called Yota, Y-O-T-A, LEDs. And I have to be honest, I think they are absolutely the best ones on the market. I'm gonna come in really close here just so you can see the light. This, just so you can see, is a piece of steel from here, or maybe it's aluminum, uh, this entire piece. And then this is a separate light with a hole already drilled in here. This kit is complete. I think I paid 109 bucks uh, several years ago, uh, because like I said, I had these on my 2016. When I got rid of the 2016, I literally just took them out, put them in this car. The entire process took me maybe 10 minutes. Really simple. So I'm gonna pop the hood here, maybe go into a little more detail. All right, it's a little hard doing this with one hand. Um, what you need to do to put these lights in is you need to remove this piece of plastic here. Super easy to do. Basically, there's I think 13 or 16 of these push pins. I don't wanna do it, but you just push this down and then you pull the whole thing out. Uh, and to put it back in, you just kind of push the piece up and put them back in. You need to take all of these out. As you can see, I, I lost two, unfortunately. And then this entire piece of plastic comes right out of the car. Once this comes out, you have very easy access to the grill. These literally take, I'm not even exaggerating, four minutes, two minutes to put in. Um, you basically just slide them in. On the back, there is a, a very large washer and then a... a a locking washer and a nut. You just tighten it. I, I've only tightened these by hand because I don't want to break the grill. Um, and then you just take the wire. It's already got a harness and you run it all the way over here. You tap it right here into the negative. Again, it's everything is pre-made. You literally just unbolt this, screw the negative wire on, and then you come around here, open up the fuse panel box, tuck the wire in, and you buy a, um, I'm sorry, it actually comes with the add -a fuse kit. You literally just remove the fuse for the headlights. You slide this new fuse in that has the wire attached, and that's it, you're done. You literally button it back up, and you are done in five minutes. This was the easiest, easiest modification I've ever done. Um, and like I said, people look at it, they're like, wow, where did you get these? They look so good. Um, in just a minute, I'm gonna cut to a clip, and I'm gonna turn the car on, and you're gonna be able to see what they look like. But these are really good lights. I have a friend that has a Tacoma, uh, she's got them in her car. I've got another friend with a Tacoma. He's trying to buy them right now. I think they're actually sold out. Um, but again, they're made by Yoda LEDs. Super easy mod. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it is definitely the best $109 I've ever spent on the car. Uh, and it's way better than the Amazon ones. It's better than the eBay ones. I mean, those are just garbage from China, essentially. Uh, this guy, whoever makes these Yoda LEDs, really quality stuff. And just for the record, like I said, these are about probably three years old. They came out in my 2016, they're now in the 2020. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. Mint condition, works perfect. All right, let's shut the hood, let's turn the car on, and let's see what they look like. Now guys, for the moment you've been waiting for, these are the grill lights at dusk. It is right now at seven o'clock in New York. Uh, so you can see these lights are very bright. Uh, there's three LEDs, they really light up bright at night. I'm gonna come right up to them. Just hoping it would, uh, hoping it would focus, uh, but I won't. But they are super bright. And just to give you a little comparison, I'm gonna walk about, I don't know, right now I'm probably about 20 feet. I'm now definitely between, I'd say 30 to 50 feet away. And those lights are super, super bright. And they just look really good. I mean, I can't even tell you how many times I've been stopped by people or people come up to me and ask, where did you get those lights? Uh, and again, I've had these on my 2016 and they are just solid looking lights. These actually came, like I said, out of my 2016 and I transplanted them into my 2020. Um, and as you can probably see, 
and I'll talk more about this in a later video, those headlights are not stock. Those are LED headlights uh, that I've put in, and I will definitely talk about those in a later video. So once again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and please subscribe. Take care.